been overweight as a child, um, that went well into my teens and into my adulthood. Had my daughter in 2011 and then 2012 we decided, myself and my partner were going to get married and I was determined to not be a fat bride and literally that's what sparked my journey into getting fitter and losing weight. So in the first year I lost a good six and a half stone. Um, at my biggest I was 16 and a half and just found a complete love and passion for exercise, running. I did running primarily because I could do it at any time. I didn't need to wait for a class. Um, and, it, and it literally was that. I didn't want to look back on my wedding photos and think I was really unhappy with how I looked and, and how I was feeling. I continued exercising and found a big love for weight training, primarily using dumbbells to do functional movement. I went on to become a qualified personal trainer and set up uh, like an online sort of PT session. It was being done in, held in person before obviously COVID hit, but then everything moved to sort of being online. And it was just that love, that passion, that buzz that you get from training. I don't think anybody can tell you how good just doing 45 minutes an hour session, just moving your body will ever make you feel until you, until you do it. I am a huge advocate for training to help anybody that's suffering sort of mentally with where you are in life or anything that you've had going on before because that hour primarily is your hour to focus on you. I think, you know, a lot of people's lives and times are so taken up with children, work, shopping, day-to-day -day stuff. When do you ever get that sort of time for yourself? So to have that hour to just concentrate on yourself, the, the huge buzz, the endorphins that it releases, that it gives you, it just made me feel better, such a better person, put me in a better mood. And that just helps then everybody else around you, it supports then your, you know, your own mental health. So as a contracts manager for Derbyshire County Council and looking after contracts in adults care, I wanted to look at maybe putting a clause within the contract whereby we could ask service providers to encourage service users to get into groups and go on walks, to start befriending services, but maybe that be more active and how then we would sort of collate that data to demonstrate that that was, you know, a really good way of improving mental health, improving fitness, improving health. I am more than aware that the way I teach and my sessions aren't going to be for everybody. Those exercises can be changed. And my biggest advice to everybody is find what works for you.